we are going to make our own paper bird. But this is not going to be a traditional paper bird. And that's not going to look like a bird at all. And it's not going to fly like one either. But I wanted to create um, something that the kids could use that would be um, durable as well as fun uh, to explore with. Now, um, most of them are familiar with traditional paper airplanes. This is called a vortex paper airplane. And what it's going to look like at the end is this tubular um, sort of folded up piece of paper here. But it's very strong in the front, very thick right here where we folded the paper quite a, a bit. And it's held together um, using tape. And I'm going to show you a video of it when I take it outside to show you just how far it can fly. So this is going to be really exciting uh, for the kids to kind of play with whether they're inside the house or outside. All right. Okay, so what you're going to need are two pieces of paper right here. And we're going to be folding them um, along the, the long side, so horizontally. So you're going to start off by folding one sheet of paper um, all the way from one end to the other. So we're just going to fold a little bit on the top. And then we're going to continue folding. And then as you're doing this, it helps to kind of crease it down really well. That way you can... Uh, it's a lot easier for you to crease it and make it into a tubular shape at the end. Okay, so you would continue doing this. And your kids can definitely help. All you're going to do is continue repeating this until you fold it to the end here. And then we're going to fold the other paper onto it after. Okay. So you can help them fold it. And then you can hold it while they um, press it down so that they can um, create a nice crease. Okay, so you continue doing this. Fold over. Over again, over, and you get a little lip right here, but just continue to fold over anyway. Okay, now you're going to get the other paper and you're going to continue folding it onto the, the new paper. So you want to make sure where that little lip was that it's facing down. That way it doesn't unravel as you continue to fold this over. And you're going to use this as sort of your marker so you can keep it relatively the same width. Okay, so you continue. And you're going to fold this over maybe five times. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now you're going to turn it over to the other side. Okay, don't worry about it folding up. We're going to fix that in just a bit. And you're just going to fold up this side just a little bit. And it doesn't have to match the width over here. You just want to make sure you create one fold. That way you can interlock it together. Okay, so now this is the hard part. You might want to be in charge of this, but you can definitely model for your child and have them try it after. It's very thick up here. So we want to make sure that we can fold it into a nice tubular shape. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the edge of your table and you're going to start from the middle and you're just going to drag it across right like this. Just so it creates these creases. So if you'll notice, it's a little bit curved now. Now we're going to do it to the other half. Okay, and then you can kind of help it along. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this together. So you see these two ends right here? You're going to slide one under the other like this. And then you're just going to slide it over just a little bit again just so it stays together. And you're going to use a little piece of tape to hold it together. Okay, so just make sure you start from the outside and that you have both sides together and that they overlap. Okay, and then you fold the tape over so you can tape it on the inside as well. Okay, you're going to do the other end. So you're going to tuck one end into the other like this and kind of straighten it out so it's nice and flush. And again, grab another small piece of tape and make sure you tape it over both sides. Okay, then fold it over to the inside. And now we're going to get enough tape to go across this part right here, just so the air doesn't go through. Now here's your finished product. I have two right here. Okay, one's a little bit bigger than the other, just because I folded this less 